正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 143, requesting help. Lu Tan woke up once at night. Speaking of coincidences, Shen Xin and entourage were searching Shen Miao's whereabouts in the Ding capital. And Lu Ling was watching over Lu Tan and Jia Yang in the residence when he suddenly got a report from his subordinate that there were suspicious people seen in the western part of the city. Lu Ling thought of Shen Miao and entrusted Lu Tan to Jia Yang before rushing over to the western part of the city with his subordinates. Now only Lu Tan and Jia Yang were left in the room. When Lu Tan woke up, there were only two maids taking care of her in the room. But they were Shen Miao's Bei Lu and Xu Ang Zhang. When they saw her awake, they were incessantly surprised. The young lady finally woke up. Lu Tan felt that her body was somewhat heavy and pushed aside the blanket to look. When she saw that below the middle garment there was a white cloth wrapped around. When Bei Lu saw this, she thought that Lu Tan was worried that in the future a scar would remain and reassured her. The a young lady has survived a great disaster and will be destined to a good fortune. The injury that day was very deep. That master and Furin were very much frightened. The doctors that were invited in succession all had no way to treat. It was Imperial Physician J L that had superior medical skills who treated one. Not only that, Imperial Physician J L even left behind a prescription. That young lady only need to take the medicine for the scar to lighten till it would be almost impossible to identify it. Lu Tan rubbed her forehead and seemed to have remembered some matters before asking, "How many days have I been unconscious?" Replying, "Be a young lady. You were unconscious for almost three days." Xu Ang Zhang said, "Three days." Lu Tan jumped in shock. She suddenly remembered something and asked hurriedly. How about Bi A youngest sister? Has Bi A youngest sister been found? Bei Lu's and Xu Ang Jiang's expressions dimmed, and they shook their heads. Lu Tan's heart gradually sank, and she said, "How is Gu Gu and Gu Fu now? The city is sealed off. Master and Furin would run about outside all day to search for young ladies' whereabout, but there is still no news." Xu Ang Jiang said. One do not know what is the situation of young lady. It had been three days. How is it that there is no news at all after all this time? Those people do not know any evil spell. How could they make a living person disappear? Lu Tan said emotionally. Bei Lu and Xu Ang Zhang looked at one another, but could only lower their heads and kept quiet. Lu Tan clenched her fists, and her heart was filled with endless anxiety. At that time, she remembered seeing two persons knocking Shen Miao unconscious and bringing her up the carriage. After that, Lu Tan's heart moved as she suddenly remembered the words that Shen Miao spoke to her in the horse carriage. Remember, if you succeed in escaping. Think of ways to send a letter to Prince Ru Ai's residence. Just say that there is a transaction to be done, and prices will be discussed later. Shen Miao said to Lu Tan in the carriage that if something happened, to go and look for Prince Ru Ai. Even though Lu Tan did not understand how Shen Miao and Prince Ru Ai of the Great Liang would secretly have any friendship, but in the two years in the Zhao Chun city, Lu Tan knew clearly Shen Miao's personality. And she would not do anything unnecessarily. She stood up and wanted to head out, but Bei Lu and Xu Ang Zhang jumped up in shock when they saw this, and quickly came over to support her. What does Bei A young lady want to do? Let us servants do it. Bei A young lady's body have not yet recovered, and one must not let the wounds reopen. When Lu Tan stood up. Her body felt sluggish. Most probably, it was due to lying on the bed for far too long. That her legs were as soft as cotton. This made her feel somewhat angry, as she had felt that she was strong due to practicing of martial arts. However, she said, "I have some stuff to do. Leave me alone." As soon as she finished her words, an unfamiliar voice was heard from outside. Where are you going? Lu Tan looked up and saw a young male walking in from the outside of the room. The male was clad all in white and had the air of a graceful gentleman. He was also very good-looking, and one of his hand was bent at the waist, and the other was placed on a small table. As he took out a fan from his waist pocket and gently waved it, he then asked another time, "Where are you going?" Lu Tan frowned. "Who is he?" Xu Ang Zhang quickly said. 
This is Imperial Physician J.L. from the palace, it is him who treated Biao young lady. Currently he is staying in our Shen mansion, as it is convenient to treat Biao young lady with acupuncture. Lu Tan frowned. Even though Lu Tan had some masculine air and less femininity, she was the same as the tens of thousands of females who like to look at good looking stuff. Previously when she was in the Zhao Chun city, there would be the occasional pretty things in the theater and Lu Tan would drag Shen Mi Al to reward those actors. This was enough to say that Lu Tan value the appearance of a male. If it was on a normal day, if she had encounter such a handsome white clad gentleman, Lu Tan would most probably be in a good mood, but today she was very worried for Shen Mi Ao that even if a fairy came down, she had no mood to appreciate. Dr. J. L. I have something important to do. Jiao Yang could not help but choke. He had heard people calling him Jiao Darin or Imperial Physician Jiao, but he had never heard anyone calling him Dr. Jiao. This made him feel that he was just like a doctor in some random medical hall, just like those type of barefoot doctors that would carry a medical box on his back and rush out in a hurry. This was simply unbearable for Jiao Yang who had always been critical and cherished his good name. He looked at Lu Tan again. The young female's complexion was not as fair and delicate like those females in the Ding capital, but was a healthy wheat color. Even though she was weak and just stood there, she was a vibrant character. She stared with a frown at Jiao Yan and her beautiful facial features appeared more three-dimensional. It was Jiao Yang first time seeing someone who had been stabbed three days ago to be this lively. Thinking of the first time when his heart was so shocked when he saw Lu Tan's injuries, Jiao Yang did not help but exclaim in admiration. For a normal person to have such injuries, even males would not be able to persevere through them, much less Lu Tan a young lady, but she proved herself up till someone discovered her, showing that her survival instinct was very strong. Jiao Yang had considered himself as one who had tender and protective feelings for the fairer gender, but he did not like Shen Mi out type of scary tigress with schemes and trickeries, and he also did not like females like Lu Tan who were coarse and strong-minded, that have not softness of a female. He immediately said, General Shen and Shen Furen had invited me to treat young lady so this one had treated, but young lady running all over the placard would cause the injuries to recur again. One is unable to accept the label of not doing one's best on medical treatment, so may young lady not walk around as one wishes. Although Lu Tan's heart was anxious, she could only endure and explain to him patiently, I have to leave due to an important thing and will definitely tell youngest Gu Gu and Gu Fu personally upon my return that this matter does not involve you. Is that all right? No. Jiao Yang said, as an imperial physician one must be responsible for one's patients. He emphasized the words imperial physician, hoping that Lu Tan could understand that he was different from those doctors living in the marketplace. But Lu Tan had failed to notice his emphasis, and instead became angry and exasperatedly said, you are a doctor that treat illness. On what basis can you control me? First of all, this one is an imperial physician. Second, young master Ling had entrusted young lady to this one before leaving. So if young lady really have something important, this one can help young lady to run the errand. There is no harm for young lady to say it. Lu Tan bit her lips. At that time Shen Miao said that the matter with Prince Ru I could not be told to others at all and it was because Shen Mi Al trusted Lu Tan that she told the matter to her. Lu Tan was one who was on a one-track mind and coupled with the sensitive status of Prince Ruai. She knew that no matter what, this cannot be known by outsiders. Even if they were Shen Mi Ao's maids, they could not know about it. She glared at Jia Yang ferociously. If young lady changed her mind then it is better to drink the medication first. After drinking the medication, Young lady's body would heal faster and naturally be able to do important things. Jiao Yang said with a gentle smile. Lu Tan let Bei Lu bring the bowl of medication over and drank it down in one shot, with some heroism that could reach the clouds. After finishing, she put the medicine bowl down and said to Jiao Yang, Is this enough? This one respects. Jiao Yang cupped his hands towards Lu Tan. Good medicine taste bitter and Lu Tan's injuries were serious, so the concoction was extremely bitter that it was unpleasant for one to even smell it. 
But Lu Tan did not even change her expression when she drank the whole thing down. One could praise her as a firm and unyielding brave person. Lu Tan said, I want to rest, thus would trouble Dr. J out to leave earlier. Bei Lu and Shuang Zhang should also withdraw, as I am unable to sleep with someone in the room. It is just too noisy. Zhao Yang had a smiling expression as he left with the two maids. After everyone left, Lu Tan stood up and ran over to the window to look out, and saw Bei Lu and Shuang Zhang sweeping the other side of the courtyard. She quickly pulled out the outer garments and cloak from the room and put on them in quick succession. After some thoughts, she dumped all the bottles of medication on the table into her sleeves, and pushed a wooden stool to the window and started to climb over. With regards to slipping out of the residence secretly to play, the siblings Lu Tan and Lu Qian had practiced so much, that it was brought to the point of perfection when they were previously in the Zhaochun city. At the end, even if Lu Yan Tai used iron locks to lock the both of them in their rooms, Lu Tan and Lu Qian would still pry open the locks and sneak out. So Lu Tan did not really care if was to be locked in the Shen mansion. Moreover the top priority was to quickly go to Prince Ruai's residence and look for Prince Ruai. Lu Tan believed Shen Miao's words without a doubt, and felt that as long as she was able to meet with Prince Ruai, he would certainly be able to rescue Shen Miao. It was just that the injuries on her waist had not been healed, and just a light movement would be painful. At this moment Lu Tan could not be bothered by it and pressed on her wounds with one hand and successfully flipped herself over the window. At the other side, she familiarly found her way to the corner of the courtyard and pulled off the weeds at the corner of the wall, uncovering a dog hole and squeezed into it without any burden. Lu Tan did all of this extremely easily, but did not see that a white figure was standing afar staring at her movements flabbergasted. Zhao Yang just could not believe his eyes. Even if the Lu family was one with a military lineage, and even if the people of the Zhao Chun city were valiant or even if. But Lu Tan was still a young lady of an official's family. To flip over windows and squeeze through dog holes. Zhao Yan felt it would be a tough job for Lu Tan to even think of doing all this. He thought that it was already a marvel for Shen Miao to come from the Ming Chi, and did not think that Shen Miao's older Biao sister would not be outdone. It was really a case of only a family of people that would enter a family residence. He shook his head but still followed up. Lu Tan had almost gone crazy. When she went out she was afraid of alerting others, so she did not use the horse carriages of the Shen mansion, but when she came out it was not ideal to look for another carriage so she could only walk over by herself. Even though the distance of the residence of Prince Ruai was not far from the Shen mansion, but for a person like her, who just crawled back from the line that divides life and death, it was just too far away. However Lu Tan did not give up at all. The Lu family's descendants' perseverance was not a joke. Even Lu Qian who would normally laugh and joke around, would be able to hold on quite a while at a truly serious moment. Lu Suai had taught the younger generation of the family discipline, of never to give up. Although Lu Tan felt dizzy at the moment and found difficult to walk, she did not think of giving up halfway. Zhao Yang watched from afar. He was initially gently moving his fan, as if he was watching the bustle, but at the end the fan no longer moved. The entire young female's body was under the cloak. And even though others could not see clearly, he could see that Lu Tan could not stop trembling. After every two steps, she would need to stop and support herself against the wall to rest. No one was clearer than Zhao Yan on how serious Lu Tan's injuries were. Just now in the Shen mansion, even though he had the intention to tease, Zhao Yang's words were not wrong. Lu Tan's wound would split open. Thus the recurrence of the wounds would definitely be very painful. He could almost guess that Lu Tan's forehead was filled with sweat continuously. However what made one astonished was that even when it was like that, Lu Tan did not stop at all. Every time Jia Aoyang thought that Lu Tan was not able to head forward after stopping for a long time, Lu Tan would again continue. This made Jia Aoyang curious and wanted to see if Lu Tan would not care about her own safety and crawl out and what exactly she wanted to do. This short section of the road seemed particularly long and Lu Tan could not help but miss her previous bubbly and energetic self. When she caught sight of the words residence of Prince Ruai, 
both her legs went soft and she almost knelt down. But at the end she did not kneel down as a pair of hands supported her from behind. Lu Tan turned her head around. That elegant white clouded fan waving Dr. J. Ah was supporting her to stand up. You followed me? Lu Tan shook his hands off and said angrily. Jiao Yang admitted readily and asked, You suffered untold hardships just to come to the residence of Prince Ruai. What are you looking Prince Ruai for? Jiao Yang could probably guess the purpose of her visit, but he had never heard Zi Jingxing speaking about Lu Tan, thus the only link between Lu Tan and Zi Jingxing would be left only with Shen Miao. Lu Tan looked for Zi Jingxing for Shen Miao and most likely because of Shen Miao's whereabouts. Lu Tan looked vigilantly at Jiao Yang as he stood in front of her with an anxious heart. She had not expected that she would meet Jiao Yang at such a timing, and was feeling half dismayed and half furious. This person has a look and appearance of a human, but would actually follow and track others' private matters. She was angry at her current weak self. Otherwise how could she not discover that there was someone following her? However Lu Tan did not imagine that with Jiao Yang's ability, even if she had already recovered, she might not even discover Jiao Yang's presence. Lu Tan had already calculated in her heart. The relationship between Shen Miao and Prince Ruai must not be known to anyone. Moreover this person was from the palace. What if he returned and spilled it out to Emperor Wen Hu and trouble arises out of it? One could not help but say that even though Lu Tan was normally thick in her thoughts, in some matters she did think quite in long term. You are familiar with Prince Ruai? Jiao Yang asked her. How could I know Prince Ruai? Lu Tan refuted resolute and decisive. His Highness Prince Ruai is noble as gold and revered as jade and I am only a ordinary daughter of an official's family, so how could I know him? Then why did you come to look for him? Jiao Yang did not overlook anything. Lu Tan stammered, because, because. Her gaze landed on Jiao Yang's face, and she was suddenly struck with a bright idea and quickly said wittily, I heard rumors in the capital that His Highness Prince Ruai was a rare peerless beautiful man, thus wanted to catch a glimpse of that beautiful face. She did not study well, thus the idioms that she used were in a mess, and even used the phrase of peerless beauty. When Jiao Yang heard it, he burst out laughing. Why are you laughing? Just for a glimpse of the beautiful face, you did not care that your body is not recovered and dragged your injured self all the way here with great difficulty. It is just for a glimpse of that beautiful face. Jiao Yang asked. Lu Tan argued with the courage of one's convictions. What do you understand? It is very difficult to find good-looking people in the world and if there is, one glance is also precious. Jiao Yang shook his head. This one is also very good-looking. So then why is young lady not looking at this one, and purposely come here? Lu Tan said, it is important to know one's own limitation. She continued, I do not want to continue talking to you. I want to see His Highness Prince Ruai. Finishing talking, she then went up the steps and reached the front doors of the residence of Prince Ruai and naively said, would trouble both of you to report in that I have an important matter to see His Highness Prince Ruai on. Jiao Yang followed behind closely and gave a look to the two guards. The guards naturally recognized Jiao Yang and immediately did not say anything before opening the main doors. One of them said, I will bring both guests in to wait. Lu Tan looked at Jiao Yang, what are you following for? Jiao Yang said, I also want to take a glimpse of that beautiful face. If young lady do not let me enter, then this one can only return back to the Shen mansion. When Shen Furin and General Shen return and ask, wait. Lu Tan thought about his words and glared at him hatefully before speaking, follow me and then. The two guards looked at each other in dismay, as they were puzzled with the situation in front of them. One had thought that gentleman Jiao had brought this young lady to the residence of Prince Ruai, but currently why did it look like that young lady came to the residence of Prince Ruai and brought gentleman Jiao? Jiao Yang and Lu Tan waited in the main hall for a moment and after half a incense, His Highness Prince Ruai who was wearing a mask appeared. Lu Tan's heart became anxious. If it were previous times, to be in such close contact with Prince Ruai for the first time, 
she would definitely open her eyes wide to see what kind of person is Prince Rui. However with the current situation that did not wait for others, every moment of waiting would bring Shen Mi Ao additional danger. She took a glance at Zhao Yang, who was still drinking tea, and said to Prince Rui, requesting your highness Prince Rui to step aside to speak. Under Lu Tan's perturbed wait, Prince Rui nodded his head slightly. Lu Tan's heart was secretly happy as she thought that this Prince Rui was not as difficult to get along with. Like the rumors say, when she entered the separated side, Lu Tan fell onto her knees without a second word, begging your highness Prince Rui to save my youngest Biao sister. She then tell told him the words that Shen Miao taught her and said at the end, since youngest Biao sister believe in your highness Prince Rui, then this official's daughter also believe that your highness Prince Rui would definitely be able to save youngest Biao sister. Even though this official's daughter is unable to bring anything out now, if youngest Biao sister can be found, the Shen family will definitely provide remuneration to Prince Rui. Begging your highness Prince Rui to save a life, she then pressed her forehead onto the ground. Even though Lu Tan had pride ingrained into her bones, but it was different from those who would rather die than kneel to others. Lu Tan was a realist and from her view, Prince Rui was after all in the imperial family of the Great Liang, so it was not a disadvantage to kow tow to him. If by speaking good stuff would make him happy and save Shen Miao, then why would one care about doing this? She kow tow straightforwardly, and did not see that her action had made that person to jump in shock. I got it. Prince Rui said. Lu Tan felt somewhat weird but was unable to tell what was strange. She subconsciously said, your Highness Prince Rui has promised to save this official's daughter's youngest Biao sister. Prince Rui nodded his head lightly. Many thanks to Your Highness Prince Rui. Lu Tan delightedly gave him another kowtow before standing up. But who knew when she stood up, everything went black and she suddenly fell down. She had unexpectedly fainted. Prince Rui jumped in shock and reached out to scoop her as he called out, someone come. Jiao Yang. Jiao Yang came in from outside and was also startled. He then quickly went forward to take Lu Tan's arm to take her pulse, before putting it down after a while and sigh. Her body is too weak. Go make her a bowl of ginseng soup, I will send her back to the Shen mansion when she is awake. Two maids came in and helped the fainted Lu Tan to lie on the bed. Jiao Yang and Prince Rui walked out of the room and Prince Rui violently took out the silver mask and said, stuffing me to death. Why do you let me pose as third older brother? This person was not Zi Jingxing but Ji Yushu. One did not know when he will be returning. One cannot just let Lu Tan wait in the residence of Prince Rui till nightfall. At that time when the Shen family's people come knocking, nothing can be cleared up. Anyways third Zi has already gone to inquire about Shen Miao's whereabouts. So you just need to pose for a while so that she would leave earlier. Jiao Yang said. Ji Yushu waved his hands. I cannot stand it if it goes for a few more times. I have grown so old, but still this is the first time that someone kowed how to me. I am not a bodhisattva. Do you think if this will impact my predestined lifespan? This young lady is indeed too vigorous. That one kowtow just now almost made my heart jump out. Fortunately there were no mistakes, else if third older brother think that I have destroyed his image, he would definitely beat me up. Jiao Yang said, fortunately she is silly. Are you saying I did not act the part? Ji Yushu said angrily, I acted until others kowtowed to me. How is there not a resemblance? Jiao Yang waved his hands. I cannot be bothered to talk to you. But why does she call you Dr. Jiao? Ji Yushu said suspiciously, you are no longer in the palace, but have become a doctor in a medical hall. Jiao Yang, when Lu Tan woke up from this fainting spell, it was already in the evening. When she woke up, coincidentally Jiao Yang brought the medication over. Lu Tan did not stand on ceremony and took it and drank it all down with gudong gudong sounds. This air of an heroine made the corner of Jiao Yang's mouth twitch. After drinking the medication, Lu Tan wiped her mouth and looked at the darkening skies outside. I have to return. Where is His Highness Prince Rui? I have to give him my thanks. Jiao Yang looked at her from the side of his eyes 
No need, Prince Rui had already left. If you want to give thanks to him, it might be the day after. Lu Tan was first startled before becoming overjoyed. Thinking about Prince Rui leaving so quickly, it must be to save Shen Miao. She had only spoke to him about the matter and he had taken action so quickly. It seemed that Prince Rui was a person who was kind-hearted and value relationships. The more she thought about it, the more Lu Tan's impression of Prince Rui went up a level. Zhao Yang looked unfathomable at the suddenly pleased Lu Tan and said, In that case, then tidy up and leave. All right. Lu Tan happily climbed out of the bed and wore her shoes, when she suddenly thought about something and asked, You are also returning back with me. Naturally so. Zhao Yang said, if it was not General's and Furan's intense surge for me to stay, this one would not have. There are many noble people and ladyships in the palace that are waiting for this one to treat. Zhao Yang emphasized. Lu Tan looked at him with some sympathy, it is toiling for Dr. Zhao. If this is the case, then it is better to hurry back to the palace first. It is not good to interfere with the job else your salary would be deducted. Zhao Yang How did Lu Tan always manage to put Imperial Physician as a job that everyone was competent to do, so much that he had no status at all? Zhao Yang thought about it for a long time but was still completely puzzled. He gritted his teeth. No need. This one had already taken a leave of absence from the Imperial Medical Institute. Lu Tan made an approval sound but she then turned her head and rolled her eyes, hiding her look of despise. This man was indeed very handsome but for nothing better to do, follow those maidens and still lustfully looked at His Highness Prince Rui's beautiful face. No matter how high one medical skills was, he had no medical ethics. Shameless. Sick. In any case. Zhao Yang eventually returned to Shen Mansion with Lu Tan. On the return back, as one feared that Lu Tan's wounds would worsen, Zhao Yang found a horse carriage. Upon returning to the Shen Mansion, Shen Xin and Entourage had all came back. Seeing both of them returning, everyone was relieved. Shen Kaiyu asked, Younger Biao sister and Imperial physician Zhao, where did you go? Everyone thought that Lu Tan was kidnapped by others again and Shen Kaiyu even suspected if Zhao Yang was some spy, and if Zhao Yang was the one who kidnapped Lu Tan. Tanner, your body has not recovered yet, where did you go? Lu Tan's expression stiffened. The matter of Shen Miao and Prince Ru I could not be spoken out, and one had to find another excuse. She hemmed and hawed, I, I am. It is this one that brought her out. Zhao Yang cupped his hands and said, Young Lady Lu's body has not recovered yet, but to stay in the room all day would make her feel depressed and would not be conducive for the recovery. This one brought her out to take a walk so that young lady's injuries would be able to recover faster. Hearing it, Lu Zhu Yan's suspicious then only disappeared but her words still had some blame as she spoke to Zhao Yang, Imperial Physician Zhao has good intentions but if there is a next time, it is better to inform the servants. Tanner did not even bring a single maid, we thought that she had an accident. Zhao Yang blushed with shame, it is this one who did not consider it thoroughly and must apologize to Furan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Lu Zhu Yan waved her hand. Lu Tan sighed in relief. Even though she did not look at Zhao Yang with friendly eyes, it was much better than before. Zhao Yang had carried such a black pot for her. So Lu Tan's heart was thankful for it. The Lu family emphasized on comprehending kindness and giving back in return, so Lu Tan was thinking to give Zhao Yang more treatment fees and not nitpick about what happened previously. But why have one not seen older brother Ling? Lu Tan stretched out her neck and looked around. Shen Xin, Lu Zhu Yan and Shen Kaiyu were all here but only Lu Ling was absent. Not together with you all? Shen Xin asked with a frown. Lu Tan shook her head. Then that is strange. Lu Zhu Yin said, Before leaving today, I instructed Ling Er to look after you and upon returning, one did not see your presences and thought that you went out together. It is only you and Imperial Physician Zhao. Lu Tan nodded her head. Did younger Biao brother go out to buy something? Shen Kaiyu asked, Even if it was searching. It is getting late and he should return back. In order to exchange information, 
The Shen family would return to the Shen mansion in the evening to recount the result of the search. Thus even if Lu Ling went out and searched for himself, he should also have returned by now. Could it be that she was found? Lu Tan's heart moved, could it be that older brother Ling has found youngest Biao's sister, thus returning late? Shen Kaiyu and Lu Zhu Yan were stunned before delight appeared on their faces. If that is the case then it would be good. However just at this time, someone from outside frantically shouted, Bad news, bad news. Everyone looked over. The oncoming person was Lu Ling's subordinate and his entire body was doused in red color. Bad news, young master Ling has gotten into an accident. 